Creed Bratton, who plays himself as a quirky 60s rocker in the hit show The Office, starring Steve Carell, says the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. In a story on how art imitates life, which imitates art, which imitates life, Bratton was the founder of the Grassroots, who had hits with Let's Live for Today and Midnight Confession. His new album is titled Bounce Back, and it features some folksy songs, but also songs that border on jazz, making it a truly eclectic album. He talked about the contribution of fellow office star Ed Helms. He plays Appalachian and bluegrass, you know. And we, we jam all the time, work on stuff. And he's, a, he's great. And so I said, uh, I want you to do a pop song with me. And he said, oh, no, you should get Steve Martin, you know, because he's, he's, he, he, the guy said, no, 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 I, I like playing with you. It's, it's so, here, I, so I gave him, the, gave him the tape, and he called me back and said, oh, I like this, this is fun, you know. I um, tell, tell Ed that he, what he brings to the, the se to, the, to the session was a percolating effect. Well, it bubbles. It just kind of has this little bouncy, bubbling thing. Just great. Not, not uh, the, 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 the guy deliverance, not that kind of, you know, more cooler than that and not weird. Creed talked to us about what his approach is to his character on The Office. He was asked how much of that character is him and how much is exaggeration. I wrote my own talking head, loosely based on some... If I'd have continued being crazy like the rock and roll days, what I would have turned out. So that's what he is. What happened if I <laughs> so burnt, so burnt out and you know, like a like a like a, a crack tuning fork kind of a character? Like that's pretty much what he is. You know, he's almost ready to burst. Sometimes you get that look on his face. He's funny. It was at the far side where the guy comes out he, from his house all the time. He's he he's the with scooter. There's a dog scooter in it. It's the far side or Ballard Street, far, far side. Anyway, he comes out and he dresses up like a butterfly or a bird. He sits out and he annoys his neighbors. And he has that look. That's, I go, that's the facial thing I'm going for, that look at me, that kind of thing. <laughs> I, hope, I hope I get, get I'm, I'm trying to do him homage to him. And what did he think about making his way between music and acting? It would be very tricky to do. I mean, I would really hope this album would, would do, do good and people would say, we'd love to come out and, and sing for us, you know? Yeah. Uh, right now, obviously, because I'm contracted to, to the office, and great, thank you very much. Thank you, NBC. Love it. Uh, I'm there, you know, and I'm there. And uh, now, when, it's, when we're on hiatus, yes, I want to go out and play with the band. We'll see what happens when, uh, you know, whenever... It runs its course. Who, who knows how many more seasons that will be? When it does run its course, and I'm, if I'm still not on the Rockers with Walkers tour, if I'm still bouncing around with a little, you know, you know, got the hunky wavo still, I'm, you know, kind of bouncing around still, you know, without, you know, shaking myself loose, then I, then I will go out and play with the band and do film. I'll be, I'll be doing character actor stuff, you know. With some time off between shoots for The Office, he's got a gig at Hotel Cafe in L.A. on May 8th. We'll have the full interview shortly. The second time around, wind them up to the cool down. Spring back, oh, oh, wind them up, baby. Yeah. <laughs>